Foremost, we want to give our praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, the Ka Kadash, and double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS groups, the ones that are like teach 100% truth, Shalom and Barak of them to them. And the foremost, again, give our praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, the Ka Kadash. This relates to a um, CBS News article talking about um, a police chief warning about extremists groups pretty much second Ezra 15 14 through 19 I'm going to start woe unto the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands and that's what's happening Civil unrest, insurrection, violent uprising. For there shall be sedition among men invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions actions shall stand in their in their power, man. A good example of that what happened at the Capitol, man. The insurrectionist. The extremist, or maybe the uh, agent provocateurs, provocateurs, stage actors, whatever the case might be. But that that spirit of um, of um, of unrest is beginning to develop in these people, man. A man shall desire to go into the city, and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So the cities are in trouble, man, because of the state and condition. Society is developing incrementally, step by step. You see it. You see in the, um, the tensions building among nations of people from all different backgrounds. So that spirit of division is being set forth, man. Number 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of a lack of bread or for great tribulation. So this is the times we into. This is the road we, we um, that's being traveled relating to um, uh, 
um, related to this um, state and condition of what society is becoming, man. The civil unrest, the insurrection, the violent uprising, not regarding the kings and princes in this country, various other countries on a day-to-day -day basis, fighting over different things, civil, economical, social issues. So that's what's happening. Let's continue on. This is um, Second Timothy's three and one. This know also this in the last days perilous times shall come. We in perilous times, and it's coming. It already is here. And part of the perilous times is seeing pretty much how the state is state and condition of society is becoming. The people. And these the rest of the, in this chapter here talks about pretty much the characteristic and traits how the people are going to be towards one another and pretty much in the times we are now and really in the times to come I'll give you an example of a few of them for men shall be lovers a little dark Sherlock it. for men shall be lovers of their own own selves covetous boasters um, proud blasphemers disobedient disobedient to parents and unthankful unholy without natural affection truce breakers false accusers incontinent which means lack of control and we've seen a lot of that lack of control Fierce despisers of those that are good. And those that are good relating to ones who are trying to change, work their salvation to the best of their abilities, man. The good, really, starting with the elect, the prophets, ones who believe or believe in Yahweh Bashim Yasha. So, opposite of that or contrary to that would be the ones who hate of that. And that's pretty much the majority of the world, man. That was just a few examples. I want to go to um, Matthews um, Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I come to send peace on the earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. So that's that spirit of division that the, uh, the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is beginning to send, man. That fire that's set before he comes, man. And that's part of that, that division, that's part of that, that contention strife, that spirit of uh, contention and strife upon the multitudes and nations of people, man. That's what's being set forth, man. We'll go to Isaiah 19. Isaiah 19 and 2.
and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. So that's where that's the Egyptian relates to the modern day citizen, one against another, kingdom against kingdom, neighbor against neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. Matthew 24. Uh, Luke 21, Mark 13, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Um, things happen in diverse, different places. You're seeing a lot of that, things that normally wouldn't happen in certain places that's happening. For example, that would happen in Texas. What's happening in other countries, other uh, places all over the world. Strange sightings, strange different things. That's unusual, uncanny. So this is something short relating to um, that because we're in, a, we're in a, the times we're in, you know, the police chief was warning relating to extremist groups, perhaps to do certain things. That being said, um, we all praise the Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakah Kadash, the waterful listener. Shalom.